Welcome back. This is Reich. Last time, like four months ago, we did the last part up to this one. That's a meaningful statement. Uh, I've been busy with school, work, promotion, stuff like that. And then I've also tried to do this. It's not easy. It's really frustrating. I've only ever been able to replicate the S rank like twice, and that was off camera, just practicing it. But whatever. You know what? This is all... It's all just a... Uh, it's all for fun, right? So... This is probably one of the most annoying final stages ever, purely because the boss rush itself, and not even how it's structured, like, uh, it's structured differently than how pretty much every other Mega Man boss rush is, but that doesn't bother me whatsoever. It's just that none of the bosses, like, almost all the bosses don't fall into a pattern, so it's all reacting or making sure you were never in a certain area in the first place, but you don't really know what area that is. And so there's just unavoidable damage, and damage is really the only thing you have to worry about. You are, you like, if you just kill everything nearby you, you are well over the enemy count. And time is also not a factor. You can take your time, not like crazy too much time, but you got like over eight and a half minutes. So here, oh yeah, I knew that was gonna happen, but it's still, you know, this dude just. Never wants to stop jumping this time. The more he jumps, the harder it is to deal with him. And in, in all honesty, this one I was going kind of slow, but there we go. I still only got hit once. That's about the best I can do given how much I had to adjust. He's the one of the most frustrating ones to deal with of the first three, so I try to get him out of the way as soon as I can. Second most frustrating and very much not far behind him is this guy. This guy. I actually found a way to completely annihilate him very quickly if you're not in the S-rank mode. When in, it's in the S-rank road, it's the entire time praying to God he doesn't do the S-rank attack. So let's see what unrolls this time. I'm going to hold the charge a bit so I can get him to move later. Okay, I hit, guessed the wrong shadow. And here we go. This is the pattern. You can actually react to him doing the little heat dash and then let go and you'll pretty consistently hit him. And I was talking and kind of missed the cue. So that's my excuse on that one. There we go. And I'm going to wait right here in the center for the lava to go. Oh, there we go. That was nearly bad. There we go. Okay, that was good. That was good. I can work with this. I did. Did I take damage? I, I want to say I did. I had a gap in my life. I took a tiny bit extra damage. And I've taken more than I'm usually comfortable with in run throughs, but this is live, so I can't really be too picky. So. The good thing is, this third boss, easiest one of all the bosses that you have to refight. Uh, Polar Camru. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Camros. It looks French, and I messed that up. And I messed that up. Wow. It's just fuck up day right here. So, because he left his platform, the good thing is his platform is like perfect height for hitting him. So I just charged a shot and s like, if I didn't get hit, that's all that would have happened. God fucking damn it. That's why I don't, uh, I try to start the fight off with a single up slash because it's pretty easy to space that one out of the range of his body. But, um, if it was easy to space relative to his body, I would pretty much always just do those shot, do those slashes. And here you want to be really close to the edge before you do that and try not to accidentally jump on the thing. There we go. You don't want to take the, the little damage at, like, you need every bit of life you can get in this stage, so you got to be really careful. There we go. Here, let's see if I can do it. There we go. Just took care of another enemy while I didn't need to wait that long. I could have done it with the regular charge shot level. So here's the second half of this. It's also dealing with some bullshit here and there and has one free boss. So this is the first boss I always take care of just because he's all over the place. And you're just praying to God he doesn't shake. If he jumps up to the wall to shake, you're bad. But this is the you're in bad. Okay, this is what you you want this. You also want to dodge that. Okay, go in, go out, and then this is what this is what I want. I want this. 
The tongue is his S rank attack, and it's the, oh come on, there we go. That is perfect. I can work with that. So I've taken uh, probably about, if I look at it, mm, a little under 15 damage, and that's still workable. You can, if this was Mega Man Zero, I would pretty much have to call it at this point. Like I'd have to play 100% perfect, or be like, hope, hope to God I'm not over. Which, not or, and. But this boss is the easiest one of all of them. Of, until he starts going off the pattern. Wow. You know, I really fucking hate this game sometimes. Have I mentioned that? I don't know if I've mentioned that enough. Because this boss almost never goes off the pattern until he just decides to do it randomly. God fucking damn it. I'm so tired of all of this. And I better not get the next boss perfect, because I am going to be even more pissed, because this is probably right outside the range of S rank right now. God fucking damn it. Let me see. Yeah, that was a solid, like, 9 damage. Uh, I'm just going to do this and hope it goes perfectly. It happened once, but... Yeah, double boss, by the way. You have to... The whole goal in this is to kill them before the S rank attack happens. They attack in an extremely set pattern. Kind of hard to dodge. I always take like one hit here. It's pretty hard not to. Here, do a charge saber slash. Start charging immediately for ooh, uh, a gunshot. Because you're going to want to be hitting as both these guys as m many times as possible. Okay, let's see. I fucked that up. Oh, I did it perfect. Okay, okay, we're, we're running this as hard as we can. Because the, the team attack is not only stupid hard to dodge, it takes up a ton of time. It's really annoying, really finicky, you never know. Wow, I got that perfect. I didn't think I would. Okay, that just changed everything. Because the final boss, not really that big of an issue. And this final area, also not that big of an issue. Uh, the spiders, not that big of an issue, actually. Their attack, which is the web... Uh, it doesn't do any damage, so d fill it, take the hit if you can. Okay, this is not the time for frames to be hiccuping. Uh, here, there's way more spikes everywhere. and Here, you want to actually jump off the right wall, because if you try to jump left, you will fall into spikes. And there we go, fall down. And slash that guy just because. At this point, you're like already at the S rank for enemies, so I just skipped those two. And we made it to the final boss. And here, I tend to just switch my element back to neutral just for the sake of doing it. Doesn't make any difference. And this is pretty much the longest cut scene that you really see in the game with El Pizzo. He's pretty much just like, check this shit out. I totally am not super insecure about being a piece of shit. So he's going to destroy X to become invincible, activating the Dark Elves and whatnot. Uh, I won't let it happen. Too bad. Uh, spoilers, it happens. Um, I don't think I'm shocking anyone. You can't really talk about a really cool power that's about to be unleashed and not unleash it. That's too much of a boner kill. And yeah, he just stabs the fuck out of X. I mean, it's supposed to be super tragic. It's not really made tragic, so I guess it's not supposed to be. But, I mean, just in concept, this is literally X's body being eradicated. And this is the hero of fucking many childhoods. But, and basically, big old dark elf came on out and be like, hey, check this shit out. It exploded. If you didn't notice, the sphere in the back that X was supposed to be, like, protecting had an X on it. I thought that was a kind of neat, neat little detail. I don't know if I can even say that's neat. It's just a thing. And El Pizzo's getting his rocks off at killing X. Kind of weird. And the whole, like, 60 FPS effect is now gone, and it's just a solid thing, but I was recording 60 FPS, so you could see the effect at least. That's why it's called a 60 FPS effect. What the fuck am I talking about? And those things are spinning around like the second mini-boss in Sonic 3, around Eggman's little robot thing, and is it Zone 2? Yeah, it's Zone 2, Hydrocity Zone. And so they all are going to go inside El Pizzo's eyeballs, kind of weird. But then he starts swelling like it's some fucking inflation fetish shit. Fucking hate DeviantArt. And let's see what happens here. And then boom, he grows claws. Boom, I said that slightly early. Boom, I said that fucking right on time. And he's turned hella evil. 
He's another boss that you want to use a lot of sword slashes and charged shots. He tends to be... you got to stand at a kind of weird range, so... Don't you think it'll be paradise? No. He tends to start out with a dash attack. Let's see if he does it. Maybe hop back in a dash. Yep. Yep, called it. And then you'll be right here. If he does... Okay, this is what I want. This is free damage. Jump over that. Yeah. Let's see. Every time he does this attack, you want to just take advantage. I'm sorry I'm not speaking 100% of the time, but I haven't gotten this far in this in, like, ever. Okay, this is his S rank attack. You can literally just stand over here. Uh, I try to stand close enough to where I can see him, even though it's not necessary. And that may have just cost... Those hits may have just cost me this whole game. This whole S rank. There we go. Okay. Now we are prepared for the final boss. Final, final, because obviously it's never one form. BT dubs, I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think it's spoiling anything if I say this before you see it. Um, this is the easiest final boss I've ever played in a Mega Man game. You can just grind him out. Oh yeah, that is kind of scary. And that's his ha Elpizo's hair in the background, and those are supposed to be the baby elves rotating around him. You can literally just camp him uh, on the wall. I usually wait for the first pattern, so he... So he doesn't teleport away, and wow, I'm playing like shit. God damn it, I'm not gonna get S rank. Fuck me, fuck me. And here we are. He has this little rotating orb. If you wait for the first pattern, if you don't wait for the first pattern, he has a tendency to teleport away. And so that's why I do this, and now I'm just, I'm literally hovering on the walls, and hovering on the walls makes him teleport pretty consistently. Not, con not that consistent, really. Jump over that one, then you have to dash over that one, and then. I hit him with a bullet at least. I don't know what's going on. Are they the... okay. Which one is this one? Okay, this is the one where I can get a ton of damage if he was in the center. But he's not, so I gotta do a lot of these and hope to god they actually hit. But notice how little damage I've taken outside of when I... like, since this... Have I taken a hit since this boss fight started? Okay, the rotating orb, you want to get like one hit in and stay away because that actually rotates really far out. And, okay, he warped. And I'm going to run over here. And he's dead. That's the final boss, ain't it? It's pretty simple. It's the safest way you can take, not the quickest, that's for damn sure, but it's the safest. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Wait. Oh. My. Fucking. God. I can finally upload a fucking YouTube video. Jesus Christ. This was definitely going- this was my last take of the day too. So. Let's pray nothing gets corrupted in terms of data. And so. El Pizzo looks like he's kind of coming down from his high. Uh, I almost did something that can't be forgiven. Uh, he was about to fuck up everything if you can't get that. I actually like Elpizo's design as a character. I think he's kind of cool. He's kind of like, looks similar to Zero, but he's supposed to be like this kind of really insecure dude. Accepting failures. He's become a little stronger. Time to say goodbye. And yeah, if it wasn't obvious, he also has a thing for CL. So, his last words are literally telling her he's sorry. And, uh, me, me, or I don't know if it's supposed to be meh, because it's like Japanese, but he, Dark Elf is doing some shit to El Pizzo, and lo and behold, he is now a Cyber Elf. Uh, I don't think this comes into play in the other Zero games. Uh, she is saved, she is not evil, thank you, and goodbye. And so, yeah, I think he pretty much wanders off and he is never seen and heard from pretty much again. Uh, and the Dark Elf starts flipping out. Again, yeah, that's a really cool design. Um, let's see, I don't actually remember what happens after this, so kind of playing it by ear. Fucking stop sign going on over here, stoplight, shit, words are hard. And the Dark Elf, I think, if I remember right, just fucking exits. There's nothing really crazy, because I know the Dark Elf plays a role in Mega Man Zero Three. So let's see. I think that's actually it. Though, where is that? 
Where did that piece of metal come from that El Pizzo was chilling against? And X isn't dead. God save the queen. She wasn't always called the Dark Elf when she was born. She had a mission to save the world and had another name. When her healing him with the threat of world destruction, they're going to call her the Dark Elf. Dr. Weil placed a curse on her. That crazy Dr. Weil, he's pretty much the big main bad dude, if you haven't picked up on that. Um, across the Zero arc. Mm -hmm. Some possible similarities with Wiley. Um, he also gets fucked up too, but uh, yeah, the Dark Elf. All this, and just beat the fucking game S rank. Jesus Christ. Zero theme remix. A lot more bass. Oh, I actually haven't heard this credits theme in literally months, considering I kept restarting if it wasn't S rank. Ah. So that's Mega Man Zero 2. Uh. I am, like, still mixed with emotions, considering I was extremely pissed going into this recording, because I just kept resetting over and over for a little. Things that I can interpret to be bullshit, but you know what? Things happen and whatnot. Uh, the credits, I might as well keep talking. I'm going to definitely, uh, after this upload, since I finally can officially start back up, I'm going to pretty much also just hit the ground running and keep uploading more Donkey Kong Country Returns. I think I'm going to stick only to Donkey Kong Country Returns until I finish. I'm going to slow it down. I may be looking into opening up a second channel for fighting game stuff because I don't like having fighting game stuff on here because I feel like the audience for that is completely different but I'm really excited to get back in the groove of things for this because damn has it not been a long time coming and uh, I mean I'm just going to speed up the credits because I mean we all like credits I'm sure we do I'll just do it this way Oh, thank me for playing. How kind of you. Just gonna speed that off the screen. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else? There's always something else. Ooh, ooh, it seems the Dark Elf has been awakened. I still have control of the text, too. That usually doesn't happen after post credits. Obviously, this is Dr. Weil. Uh, to take action, Omega. This is huge for Mega Man Zero 3, by the way. He, 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 he. Was that seven? I didn't count. To play the game in hard mode, hold down the L button when you choose new game. Ah, save the game. Oh, I never saved once. How about that? Shout out to save states. Data has been saved. Or data, depending on which part of the America you live in. And that's Mega Man Zero 2. And with that, I will see all of y'all next time.